Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome and thank you for joining me here on my channel. This channel is all about plants. I do plant shopping videos and other plant related videos. So if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I would love for you to join my channel. So I actually have really exciting news for you guys today. And if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I usually do my intros in front of this wall right here. But as you can see, my floating shelves are no longer there. That's because I actually took them down for a reason. So for the past five months, I've been super busy working on a huge project that's been really stressful, but also exciting at the same time. And it's finally coming to the end. So the exciting news is that I actually bought a house. So for the past five months, I've been having the house renovated and I've been really active in the designing and choosing like every aspect of what I wanted in the house from top to bottom. So obviously one of the main things that I wanted to make sure that I had space for was my plant. So I do have a really nice sized yard that I'm gonna be putting a lot of my plants that are on my patio. But one of the things that I really wanted was to be able to incorporate my indoor plants inside the house, but I didn't want to have them all around the whole entire house because I wanted to kind of keep it more on the minimal side. And so I wanted to designate a certain room just for my plants. And I also wanted a designated space that I can work from as well as record videos. So I am so grateful that I was able to find a house that had a separate room that I was able to do both of those things. So now I have an office slash plant room and today I'm going to start putting up my plant shelves and slowly moving my plants in there. So that's what this video is all about. I'm gonna take you to the new house and show you the room. The inside of the house is pretty much almost done being renovated, but the only thing on the outside that needs to be done is that it needs to be painted. So I'm not gonna show you everything. I'm just gonna pretty much focus this video on the plant room. So that's what this video is all about. We're gonna go to the new house. I'm gonna show you the space. I'm gonna try to record as much as possible so I can share this experience with you guys and hopefully you can learn from it and maybe it could be helpful in some way. So without further ado, let's go to the new house so I can show you my new plant room slash office. I'm here at the new house and this is a sneak peek of what the kitchen looks like but that's not what I'm gonna be showing you today so let's get to the good part all right so this is gonna be the plant room slash office it's in the back of the house and this is all the space that I have to work with it's pretty big and I pretty much have an idea of everywhere that I'm gonna put everything, but just wanted to show you guys the empty layout. I turned the lights on. But as you can see, I have two windows. This one here is west facing, and this one is south facing. I also have this door right here. So right now I have temporary blinds up, but the blinds will be coming tomorrow. And I am planning on using this large wall right here to put my floating shelves from Ikea. So I have four shelves. I'm planning on doing two going across here and then two going across the top. Um, I probably will put my work desk here a bookshelf here, and then I have those two storage cabinets that I showed in one of my previous videos where I showed you what all was in my plant supply cabinet. So one of them I'm gonna have with my plant supplies, the other one will have my t-shirt supplies. And over here, I'm thinking about doing one of those ring plant holder walls. Um, I got some of the rings from Walmart, but then I also ordered some six inch ones from Amazon. So I'm thinking about doing that right here, but we'll see because I have so many plants that I need to put in here. Um, on this wall right here, I'll probably put another shelf. I've been looking for the Ikea Vistro shelves for so long, but they've been unavailable. And I think they're actually going to be um, 
discontinued soon as far as what the Ikea worker said. So unfortunately I won't have those, but I'm gonna make it work. And the bulk of my plants I'm hoping will fit on the four shelves up there. And then I also bought an egg chair that I'm hoping to either put here in the center of the wall and use this as my backdrop for videos, or I can put it here because if it's here, I actually have a really nice view of the lake. I'll show you really quickly. Outside, I have a lake view. So I'll show you what I have so far. So I picked up one of these stationary egg chairs from Walmart. It's by Better Homes and Gardens. And I tried it out in one of the stores and it was really, really comfortable. I'm really excited about this. So this is one thing that I'm gonna have in the room. And these are two of my floating shelves from Ikea. These are the lac shelves and this is what I had at my apartment. So I had two there, but I'm gonna have four in here. So that's what I'm gonna be working on today is putting up the shelves on that wall and putting together the chair to possibly put it here in the center or over here. And then once that's done, I'm gonna start bringing all the plants over here. So yeah, that is my new plant room slash office. And I'm super excited. So we're just measuring the wall because we wanna make sure we have enough space for two shelves side by side. So here we're just measuring the height that we want the shelves to be from the ceiling because like I said, I have the egg chair and I wanna make sure that the shelves don't interfere with the egg chair in the center. We went ahead and measured the wall and we've already put up three of the shelves. We only have one more to go. These are actually floating shelves, but we decided to use the brackets because we had an accident at the apartment one time and the whole shelf fell down, including the plants. And it was a big mess. I lost some plants in that accident. So um, yeah, we got these white brackets here from Home Depot. And I'll go ahead and show you as soon as the last one goes up. Also, my daughter put the egg chair together for me. And this is one of the possible spots where I was gonna put it because like I said earlier, when this window is open, I would have a really nice view of the lake. However, I may put it on the side where the plant shelves are in the center. That way I can use this chair when I'm filming videos and I would have the plant shelves with the plants behind me as my backdrop. So. We measured it out so that the shelves are a little higher than what the chair is. So this is where it is now until the shelves are done and then I'm gonna move it over there and see how I like it there. All right, so we got all four of the shelves up and it's looking good so far. We tried to make sure that we left enough space in between on the top and the bottom for the plants and the pot and like I said before enough space here so that if I want to put the egg chair right here it doesn't interfere with the top all right so I'm gonna move this chair over here and see how well it fits and if I like it here so the egg chair fits perfectly right under the bottom shelves. So, I think it looks good here or here in the corner. Once I get all my plants in, I'll decide, you know, the plants, my desk, and all the other um, items that I have to put in here, like my plant shelves and my, um, storage cabinets. I'll see exactly how it's going to be, but at least I know it does fit here and it does fit here. I don't want to put it in that corner because like I said, I have storage cabinets that I want to put there and I want to put my desk here. 
All right guys, so the main part of this plant room is completed and that was getting my plant shelves up and my egg chair, which was a success. So once I get all the other stuff in here, I'll film that stuff and add it to this video. But for now, I think I'm gonna end it here and the next thing I'm gonna do is start bringing in the plants. So guys, I use these clear Rubbermaid containers to store my plants. Hey guys, so it's the next day and I'm on my way to the new house. As you can see, I have the plants all packed up in those clear Rubbermaid containers and it was actually a breeze because they have handles and they're up really high so it holds the plants really nicely and it's easy to carry up and down the steps. So I would highly recommend doing that if you are able. And they hold quite a few plants. I think I got about eight six inch pots in each one. So yeah, so I'm headed up to the new house and let's see how this goes. Okay guys, so the first batch of plants are here. As you can see, we boxed up half of them in cardboard boxes and then we use these clear Rubbermaid containers for the others and it worked out pretty well. Um, I did get a couple of damaged leaves, but not too much. My silver sword Got a little mashed up here. And let me see. Oh yeah, my Refitophora Decursiva. Got a little tiny bit messed up. But other than that, I don't see any damage. Um, for now, I decided not to put the chair under the shelves. So what I'm gonna do right now is try to work with the plants that I brought over and put as many as I can on the four shelves. When I go back home for the next um, batch, I'll try to bring some of the stands and I'm probably gonna line some of the stands up here underneath. Um, so this is what we're working with for the time being. And there's actually a lot more to pick up. Um, I think there's probably one more batch from inside and we have here one two three four five six seven containers so i think with these seven containers we could probably fit the rest of the ones that are inside and then later on i'll have to pack up the ones on the patio that are going outside so all right i'll keep you posted on how this goes All right, so this is what it's looking like so far. I was able to get a lot of plants up there. I know it looks kind of high right up to the ceiling, but remember I was trying to leave space for the chair, which I'm still probably gonna do. But for now, this is how it looks. Now, if I don't put the chair in the middle, I'll put plant stands going all the way across. Even if I do put the chair, I'll put some of the plant stands on the sides. Hey guys, so I'm back at the house and this is the second batch of plants. So I put them in these containers again, but now what I'm doing is emptying out most of the containers and just placing them over here on this brown paper so that I can use these again because there's still a few more in the apartment, but I still didn't even get to the outdoor plants on the patio. So it's almost 10 o'clock at night and I'm definitely not moving those tonight. So I'm gonna need these containers to move them tomorrow. I'll start early in the morning, but yeah, this was an all day thing because you know I started organizing them and everything on the wall. So yeah, it'll probably take me another day to finally get everything over here and most of the ones that I still have to get are the ones that are going outside. So that'll be the next thing I have to figure out where I'm putting those exactly. But that's it for this part of the video and it will be continued.
So I know I really haven't been showing my face too much during this video, so I just wanted to pop in and show my face and say hello. It's just that I've been so busy and it's really hot and moving all this stuff and everything. I know I look crazy, but here I am and I'm super tired. I think I'm gonna call it a night. So good night everyone until the next part of this video. Hey guys, it's the next day and I'm now packing up the patio plants. So this is gonna be a mission because a lot of those are cacti and they're heavy and very spiky. So I've already put these from the patio inside these containers. This one is pretty much all my Hoyas or the hanging Hoyas and this pickle plant. I got my philodendrons here, the Prince of Orange and the um, Moonlight. And then I have all my ficuses here. It's my ficus lorata. All of these needed water. So they're looking kind of bad. I kind of gave them a little bit of water just now. And my um, ficus taniki, elastica taniki. Also have my defenbachia there and my ficus audrey. So I'm also putting some plants to the side that I'm gonna part with. I'm debating on this Hoya carnosa uh, queen, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna give away that pink panther and that ficus sneaky. Also, have three bags of other plants there, so yeah, that's how it's looking so far. These are a couple of hanging plants from inside, and I still have these from inside, but these are most likely gonna go outside now. I'll see how it goes. So for my succulents, I'm trying to use these boxes because they're on the small side. So far I have all these in here. And I still have to pack up all the ones on this, on these two shelves right here. Then I have all these cacti. I'm kind of saving those for last because I'm scared to handle them. Let me show you what's left on the patio. The whole thing's cleared out except for the patio furniture. So back to basics. There's no plants out here and I have a lot of sweeping up to do. That's it. Only thing is the patio furniture. They could have actually taken this on the U-Haul, but they wanted to leave. So I have to take another trip, but that's it. <laughs> I'm back at the house and I've been outside working on the outdoor plants for a really long time and it's really hot out there that's why I'm sweating so excuse that but I just wanted to kind of give you an update on how everything looks right now which is still you know not how it's gonna stay obviously but it's starting to get a little bit more organized and what I was able to do with the plants for outside was I just put them all around this really pretty tree that's on the side of the house by the lake. And they're all inside of pots anyway, so they look fine to me. And I was also able to hang some of my Hoyas inside the tree, so that looks cute. And then I had three black metal stands from Home Depot, and I just put those outside with all of my cacti and succulents, but I made a mess because some of them were falling over and the dirt and rocks got all over, so just excuse that. Okay, so this is how the plant room is looking so far. And remember, it's obviously not gonna stay like this. This is just the first day since I moved everything in here. And I just wanted to try to get everything in a place, but I'm always moving plants around, especially because they're growing. But not only that, sometimes I just like to see them in different parts of my home. So, um, let me just show you really quickly over here. I have a few stands and this area is probably not going to stay here because I have a bookshelf that I want to put right here. But, um, so far, I mean, everything's nice and organized and that's what I need for peace of mind. So for now, as long as everything's organized and there's a place for everything, I'm fine with it. And then once I get in here, I can start moving things around. So down here, I have a piece of brown craft paper just in case anything spills. But this 
Um, these are all the plants that are left over that I need to find a place for. And some of these are hanging plants. So I have hooks for those. And I also have some of those metal rings that I want to do a little something with. I'm thinking maybe up here I have space. And then I also have space here. So I'll show you. I'll insert a picture of what I'm talking about, those black metal rings. I have six and eight inches in those. Um, this area over here is not looking bad. I really like my chair over here because it overlooks the lake right there. And then what I did here is I put this Ikea bookcase here and I put most of my water, um, most of the plants that I'm growing in water over here. This is my philodendron mayoi. There's my alocasia dragon scale, my anthurium radicans. There's my anthurium crystallinum, my variegated gigantium. And then this is a mixture of painted lady. Uh, that looks like a paraiso verde and um, Florida ghost. So yeah, I decided just to put those there temporarily and have a couple of marble queens on these stands right here. And then just some miscellaneous plants over here. This is my little philodendron gloriosum, but this is a new leaf and it already got ripped. So I'm bummed out about that. But the good thing is it has two new leaves here. This is one of the original leaves Got this over a year ago. And then looks like a new leaf is coming out there also. And then look how cute this little plant stand is that I got from Target Dollar Spot. It was about three or five dollars. So cute. And I just stuck that um, Dracaena in there. So yeah, over here I have these propagation bottles that I bought a long time ago from Big Lots. I found these on the clearance rack and I never used them, but I knew one day I can use them. So here we are. And over here, I have some more hanging plants just here temporarily, my neon pothos. And then over here, are some of the smaller plants. This is a ZZ Zenzi, my um, orchid. I'm lost, I can't even think right now. I've just been doing so much. My um, uh, jewel orchid. And here's my pink princess, growing like crazy. I think I need to repot it. Look at this new leaf. And here's a few others down here. Some mandula pothos on the outside. And this is one of my Paphiopetalum orchids. Another jewel orchid here. Over here I have a really big golden pothos. Monstera adesoniae going crazy. And here's my Philodendron giganteum. It's putting out a new leaf. Almost gave up on this baby. But every time I do, they always start putting out new leaves. Definitely needs to be watered. And this is my Philodendron Golden Goddess. It's getting so tall. And then this one right here was also a Golden Goddess, but it has some leaves that are Thai Sunrise. And this is a Walmart find. Beautiful. And then over here in this Ikea bag, I just picked up some hanging plants and just put them all in here. But when I was outside, it was so hot out there. My philodendron, my, my green philodendron that I've had for so long, one of my faves, literally started burning outside. For like five minutes, I had it out there. So hopefully I didn't burn all the leaves. 
Also, I wanted to mention that my work desk is gonna be here against this wall. And I actually have another one of these. So this is probably gonna go on that side. Hopefully it fits. If it doesn't, I might have to move a couple things around. But the other one that I wanna put here is gonna be for my paperwork and things like that for when I'm working. So um, I'll probably just do a switcheroo and put the plants on the left side. And this side's gonna have some baskets in it with my um, work stuff. And that wall right there is supposed to be for my supply cabinets. I have so all this has to be cleared out. I would love it if they could fit there. I did measure the wall and both of them can fit, but I'm hoping that when I open the doors that there's um, still room and also on this side for the other one of those to go. So that's the plan for now. Another one of these on that side, two supply cabinets there, desk here, and a tall bookshelf is supposed to go here, but I'll see because I'm not sure what I'll do with these if I do book, put the bookshelf there. Let me know in the comments what you think about the plant room so far and stay tuned for part two, which will be the final plant room reveal. Thank you guys so much for watching and take care.